Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we will check fresh kit from Edward and as usual don't forget to read full review article here you can see the link in the video description below so just click it and read it of course this is a new 148 scale limited edition from Czech manufacturer and as you can see it is called as Crusader so you can guess which aircraft is included inside and I think this one is interesting because it continues lineup of the limited editions with US aircrafts which combine Hasegawa plastic and Edward goodies inside. So as you can see box is quite huge, here you can see comparison with my hand size. On the side we have five marking options depicted uh, which are included into this kit, as you can see choice is quite wide I would say and as you can see uh, these decals were created in cooperation with four ball design. On the other side we have short list of the features which are included into this kit so there will be a resin seat and resin wheels. Don't forget that you can also buy resin air intakes and there is, should be also P set additional one for this model. As you can see here it is written that Hasegawa plastic parts are included inside so now some of you might already assemble this model. So this is a top opening box as you can see and that's what we have inside. So there is plenty of space inside and I really doubt that parts will arrive to you damaged. As you can see all sprues are packed into the same plastic bag. Why? Because they come directly straight from Hasegawa so that's why Edward does not repackage them as far as I know. So just give me a second to open this plastic bag and we will check these parts closer. Straight away I can say that those fuselage halves are really huge and it should be fun to assemble them together. But I hope that as usual for Hasegawa there should be position pins inside, otherwise it will be nightmare. Um, just a second more and we will check the first plastic sprue which is dedicated to fuselage halves. Again, as you saw, they're really huge and here you can see comparison with my hand. It's 148 scale, so they should be big. Uh, both are molded together with tail segment and with rudder, as you can see here. Uh, they feature recessed panel lines. Uh, note that some hatches are separate and overall molding quality seems to be nice. Here we have some parts for the wheel wells and here are some parts for air intake. Note that air intake is molded together with Zeus house so you have to be careful while gluing them together. Inside I can see that there are position elements here and here for example. Also we have some position elements for the inner parts and overall again I would repeat myself molding quality is nice. The only thing you should be worried about is connection of those two halves together without any possible seams because this might be tricky. Uh, here you can see next plastic frame. This one is more concerned with external elements. Why? Because here we have winding gear OX. Also note here we have small dashboard and some of the winding gear wheels. And here is air intake which should be actually replaced by resin if you buy separately sold set. Next we have another small plastic frame, this one is shaped in this strange form but again here we have different parts for external detailing, another air intake and everything is molded in the same quality as we saw with Fusewitch house. Next we have, I'm not even sure what is that, I guess it's some of the armament parts Again, they should be assembled out of two halves and you can see that there are position pins inside which should help you with alignment. Another plastic frame, this one is dedicated to controlling surfaces, as you can see these are molded separate and for example flaps and ailerons are molded separate so you will be able to drop them on your airplane and I guess that can be a nice feature for such large aircraft. Next we have plastic frame which is a bit more concerned with cockpit parts. Here you can see that we even have some parts for the pilot. Of course I can guess that Edward won't provide assembly guide for this guy but I would recommend to assemble it and place it into the seat because it can be a nice addition to your aircraft. 
and again here you can see plastic parts for the seat but they won't be used because we have resin replacement which is obviously better in detailing and should be used in your build and last but not the least is plastic sprue with wing parts those are divided into two halves and you will have to combine them together here we have tail wings which are molded as one piece parts and as you remember I said that flaps are molded separately inside we have position elements of course so you shouldn't be worried about trying to align such large parts together next we have another plastic frame but this one is dedicated to canopy parts and some transparent elements on the aircraft and I can also see vinyl polycaps I mean you can see them through the plastic bag I guess there is no need to show you polycaps because we all know what is a polycap what is more interesting in this transparent plastic sprue as you can see molding quality is quite nice and of course you will be able to assemble aircraft with open cockpit and you shouldn't be worried about masking because masks should be included into this kit so therefore you just apply them on those parts and you are ready to go that's quite a nice and neat feature I would say now I am removing small plastic bags out of the bag out of the box and first one of course is dedicated to resin parts here we have seat and some of the wheels parts and again one more part for the seat wheels wheels and another part for the seat as far as I can guess now let's zoom in a bit so that you can see them closer these are typical Brazilian products so I guess there is no need to show them from all sides because we all know how Brazilian products are detailed from one side to another side and I have no doubt that these are better detailed than original plastic parts and model will benefit from them definitely uh, the only thing you have to keep in mind is usage of the special glue for those parts of course and of course priming them before painting next we have small plastic bag with masks for wheels and canopy as you can see that's a typical yellow masking sheet uh, which we see in other adored kits as well then we have small plastic bag with two P threads so as you can see here we have small film pre-painted P thread and non-painted P thread this should come handy for external and internal detailing as you can see pre-painted parts will go mostly into the cockpit while not painted sprue is more concerned with external elements and structure parts and nevertheless quality is really nice and of course once you apply these parts to the cockpit difference will be quite noticeable next we have assembly manual which lies on the bottom of the box as you can see this is a large brochure with short history note on the first page then we have parts map and note that as I said figuring parts are not used but nobody stops you from assembling it and placing inside note that there is separate um, section for the pilot seat here we have masks application guide and then we have profiles color profiles which should come handy for your marking options as you remember there are five of them here we have stenciling guide and on the last page another stenciling guide even for the pilot seat by the way next we have what is it it's a correction sheet for color profiles and stencil positions so you should use actually this one the new one don't forget to check it next we have last but not the least is a large decal sheet which is packed into its own separate plastic bag so there are no separate decal sheets everything is placed onto one and it is printed in cartograph as far as I can guess we will see it in a second so here it is um, now I will check where it is printed yes it is printed in cartograph and we can zoom in so that you can see all those decals closer 
Uh, straight away you can say that nice feature is that this decal sheet is divided into separate segments so you won't have to cut through the whole decal sheet just to get one symbol. And note that stencils are separate, they're not somewhere in the middle which is also neat and you don't have to spend your time trying to find a necessary symbol. We also have some decals for the cockpit so if in case you don't like to use uh, P parts you can use those as well. So that's all for this video review, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your opinion here in the video description below. If you like this video and you want to help us, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help us greatly. And of course share this kit, its review with your friends. And I will see you in the next video review as usual, so bye!